What's up, y'all? As you can see behind me, I'm out here at the range having some fun doing some testing out here today. Beautiful weather out here, nice and sunny, about 61, 62 degrees. It's a little windy, but we can live with that as long as the temperature stays good. As y'all can see by the title, we're testing out some body armor on this one. And this time it ain't my ghetto homemade body armor, although that did do pretty good. And if y'all interested in seeing that, I'll leave a link up above where you can check that out. This time it's some sent to me from RTS Tactical. Uh, they make a lot of different hard armor, soft armor, some plate carriers all kind of stuff so i'll leave some links down below if y'all interested in that stuff so you can check them out but what they sent out to me to test out today are two of their 10 by 12 level 3 plus hard plates so like i say i got two of these plates now i got one already in there i just wanted to show y'all other now this plate carrier didn't come from them this is just a little cheap one i picked up on amazon so i didn't mind putting holes in it but uh it's got the plate carrier slots in it i got one in already i'm gonna put this other one on the back side but like i said these are level 3 plus rated so these things are rated all the way up to you know all your small pistol rounds all the way up to 5.56 m855 green tips um, and even special high threat type of rounds like the dea i'm not i'm not exactly up to speed on those ratings I, I checked over them pretty quickly but y'all might want to check out and see exactly what all these are rated to stop so i'm gonna start out with nine millimeter you know that's that's something just a standard everybody starts out with there's no doubt it'll stop at 115 grain full metal jacket that's going to be run through the eight inch ar9 over here after that we're going gonna move to the 5.7 by 28 this is the ss 195 to 27 grainers now there's no doubt this is gonna stop that but i figured i better test the 5.7 or people will be all over me everybody wants this 5.7 run through pretty much any kind of armor even if the armor's rated for it but obviously i'm gonna run this through the 16 inch ps90 after that i'm gonna go ahead and put some 44 magnum through it just some jacketed soft point they, uh, these are 240 grain just soft point 44 magnum i'm gonna run those through this henry 20 inch henry rifle that y'all probably already saw the video on then after that we're gonna keep on moving up we're gonna do the 556 the m855 green tips which this plate is rated for uh, i'm gonna run that out of a 10 and a half inch ar just 10 and a half just because that's what i've got out here i got a i've got a uh, flashlight on here i've got to test out too y'all probably hadn't seen that video yet but you will soon so and what no sense in dragging a bunch more 556 so we're gonna use a 10 and a half inch ar for that then after that we're gonna step it on up to the 308 m80 to 148 grain full metal jacket which these plates are rated for for. like i say there's specific uh these are multi-hit plates also you know being hard armor that's one of the benefits of hard armor now from there we're gonna move on up to some stuff that this is not necessarily rated for but i'm definitely curious to see what happens out of it uh we're gonna do the 460 magnum 360 grain moving at 1900 feet per second so a solid lead 360 grain projectile now of course we're running that out of the 460 magnum over here to smith and wesson performance center so i'm really curious to see what happens on this one I I don't think it's going to go through this plate by any means but i think it's definitely going to put a dent in it so very curious to see what happens here and then the last thing i have planned is the 50 beowulf 350 grain 1775 feet per second extreme penetrators the solid copper extreme penetrator round in 350 grain and that's rolling through of course the 50 beowulf ar right there so now this is definitely not rated for 50 beowulf so i pretty much have no doubt that it's definitely going to put a big dent in this thing like i say this is in no way rated for 50 beowulf but we're going to try it out and see what happens now if by chance uh it does stop that if this don't go through and it stops this 50 beowulf i might move on up to a 12 gauge sabo slug 300 grain moving 2,000 feet per second so let's see how these go first before we worry about that one i'm probably just gonna wrap this plate carrier around a couple two liter bottles and maybe a towel just to make sure it's nice and snug and it's got a soft surface behind it which would probably be more realistic than setting it up on a block or a tree or something so should be some good testing out here let me get this stuff set up and let's get started all right y'all let's start slinging some lead at this stuff uh in the interest of time so this video ain't super super long i'm not gonna check between every single shot i'm gonna do the nine the 5.7 and the 44 mag and then we'll go check it out and then we'll do a few more so let's see what we got hopefully that shadow down there ain't messing with y'all too bad it's this sun's wreaking havoc right now so unfortunately it is what it is but let's go and put this nine through it get this one over with all right got the nine i heard it i can't see where it hit but i did hear it so let's do the 5.7 All right, 44 Magnum. All 
All right, that definitely hit. Let's go down there and check those three out. All right, I'm seeing a few holes here for sure. Got one there. Looks like one up in here and it blew out the side there. And then looks like a little something down here. So looks like a few holes. Let me pull out the plate and let's check it out. All right, as y'all can see, I'm pretty sure that was the nine, that was the five seven, and that was the 44 Magnum. So as you can see, obviously nothing, no deformation whatsoever, which we, we knew that. It did catch some of the spalling. Now it looks like it did blow out on the side here, which this is just a base coating. They do offer a buildup coating on this, so uh, may consider that for sure. But let me stick this back in. Let's hit it with a few more. All right, y'all, round two. Uh, this time we're gonna do the five, five, six green tip, the M855s, then we're gonna do the M80, the uh, 308, and then we're gonna do the 30 alt six, and then we'll check it after that. So let's see what we got, y'all. I got a feeling it's gonna hold up to all of these for sure. So here we go. All right, here's that. Now let's get the 308. All right, let's see what we can do with this big old behemoth. Here we go, y'all. All right. It's definitely, it's definitely opening up that little old cheap plate carrier for sure. Again, that's now that's not an RTS tactical brand plate carrier, just so y'all know. That's a really cheap one I picked off off on Amazon. So let me uh let's get to 30 out six and let's try that. All right, 30 out six time. This is the old Remington Woods Master. Um now as far as I'm aware, I don't think this is technically rated for 30 out six. Like I say, it is rated uh 855 green tips and it's rated for that M8308 we just ran through it, but I don't think this is. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong or make sure you do your research on it, but we're gonna see what it does with it anyhow. So here we go, y'all. All right, good hit on that one. Let's go down there and check those three out. All right, we definitely got some new holes down here. Let me pull that out and see what it looks like. All right, y'all, pretty interesting stuff here. The little holes entering into the poly coating are tiny. You can't tell what caliber, but that right there actually was the 30 alt six for a fact. I know that. Uh, one of these down here was the 308. One of them was the 556. But interesting, if you look inside, this 556 that was up here, nothing at all now the 308 you got a little tiny bit of a dimple right there i don't know how if that's coming through on the camera so a little tiny dent little dimple on the 308 now 30 alt 6 definitely put a dimple in it for sure you can it's a noticeable i don't know how well it'll come through on the camera but so so we're first starting to get our first little dents that 308 very very minor but that 30 alt 6 starting to be a significant dent and again i'm pretty sure this is not rated for 30 alt 6 so the fact that it only had that little dimple right there that's pretty doggone impressive as far as the back here you can see again 308 towards right here i can feel a little bit of raised area and the 30 all six definitely you can feel a raised area right there but it absolutely stopped it nothing come through the back whatsoever so so far i'm impressed but now let's step it up to some really big boys all right y'all it's hammer time now uh we're gonna do the 460 and the 50 beowulf now just disclaimer here this armor is in no way rated to stop these two rounds so it's, it's not reflective on this armor if it fails for sure uh but I'm, I'm about half expecting it to after seeing the, the dimples from the 30 alt 6 I think this is going to leave a pretty good dent in it and I think that 50 Beowulf might go through but y'all leave me some comments before I send these down range go down there and let me know what you think about the 460 and the 50 Beowulf first the 460 a 360 grain solid lead 460 Magnum let's see what happens y'all this is the moment of truth for sure here here we go. Shoo! I mean, that thing hammered that armor right there. It that that's some force right there. But I don't see any liquid running out, and I'm pretty sure we smacked it. So let's uh, let me make sure I'm gonna go down there and make sure I did get a hit on it before I do the 50 Beowulf. All right, I went down there and checked. I did get a hit right in the center of it almost. And it's pretty surprising. I ain't gonna give it away just yet. But now, this is really make or break right here. 350 grain extreme penetrator, 50 Beowulf. This is, this is gonna be the money right here, y'all. I'm very curious about this one. What do y'all think? 
Let's see what she does, y'all. Well, it definitely knocked a four loop, but I don't see no juice running out. Let's go down there and check this out. All right, y'all, let's check this out. Uh, hit with the 460 Magnum right here, the 50 Beowulf right beside it. So let me open this thing up and let's see what we got. All right, y'all, let me show you what we got. The 460 Magnum hit right here, the 50 Beowulf right here. And let me show you what we got inside. Very surprising. The 460 Magnum right there definitely made a little dimple. I would say it's about equal to that 308 dimple from before, uh, but not even close to going through it, not even thinking about it. The Extreme Penetrator, very surprisingly, basically just made a big copper smash mark on it. I mean, nothing, maybe a tiny bit of a dimple, but nothing like I, what I expected. To be honest with you, after seeing this 30 alt 6 dimple, I expected that uh, 50 Beowulf might go through it. But but of all the rounds, the 30 alt 6 made the biggest dimple in this. Like I say, the 308, 460 is about the same. The 50 Beowulf, little to no dimple, just a, a smear mark of copper. And I don't know if the thing just completely broke up or if it, fragged out the side somewhere or what but as you can see it definitely worked, did a number on the spall coating and like i say now this is just a base coating and they offer a build-up coating um from what i see here if i were planning on going through some hard times like we did here today i would definitely invest in the build-up coating for sure here's the back side of it really nothing more like i say you can feel where that 460 kind of touched off right here and you can you could probably feel a little bit of the beowulf but by far the 30 alt 6 put the biggest hurt on it so um, to be honest with you, this is pretty impressive. We hit it, like I say, with, with things that it's not rated for. And granted, now, you, you'd be hurting after this. It's probably going to knock you on your butt, knock the wind out of you, maybe crack a few ribs even. But that being said, you'd be on the north end of the dirt, which is definitely a good thing. All right, y'all, I almost forgot I promised you a bonus round after the 50 Beowulf if it didn't go through, and it didn't. So here's the bonus round. My shoulder's gonna absolutely hate me for this. But what we got is the Hornady SST 300 grain is looking at 2,000 feet per second at the muzzle out of this thing. So this thing ought to be a rocket ship coming out of here. Now, I don't think it's gonna go through here. I think it's gonna act pretty much just like one of those two we just run through it, but we're gonna do it anyway, y'all. Here we go. All right. That definitely took a wallop on it. I think it finished off that old cheap plate carrier. I believe I see little flecks of stone flying through the air. Let's go down there and get that thing and check it out. All right, y'all, no surprise that slug didn't go through. It hit about the same spot that the 460 did. Maybe made the dent a little bit larger, but not much of nothing at all. By far, the biggest dent and the biggest damage of the day was that 30 alt 6 right there. Again, on the back. There's the 30 alt 6 dimple. I don't know how well you, it's going to come through at all. Dimple from the 30 alt 6, one over here from the 308, just a little one. And then, the, like I say, it's kind of a, a little raised area here from the 460 and the 12 gauge. One thing I can say again, though, is this little cheap plate carrier, I mean, it took a beating. The, the spalling and splattering of the lead just absolutely chewed this thing to pieces. Uh, nothing on the back part. But, uh, it, I mean, it chewed this front one all two pieces. The straps, the sides, uh, didn't really come up into the straps. Maybe a little bit it did. So, um, I would definitely, like I say, one thing I would, if I was going to get these plates right here, one thing I would invest in is that upgraded the base coat, the build-up coat that they offer, uh, would probably offer some more protection against the separating and the spalling. But, again, as far as stopping the projectiles, these things performed like a champ. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for the testing of the RTS Tactical Hard Armor Rifle Rated 3 Plus body plates out here today. These things really impressed me, to be honest. Uh, not only did we put them through the test, we put them through the test and beyond out here. We hit them with everything they were rated to stop. They stopped it with no problem, and we hit it with some very large caliber, very high power stuff, and it stopped it with no problem whatsoever. Now, you got a couple little dimples on the back, like I say, but you would definitely be walking away from this situation. Again, like I mentioned before, a big benefit of these hard 
hard steel plates are the multi-hit capabilities. We hit these things with caliber after caliber in the same exact spot nearly. And you got some dimpling, but it stopped it without any problem. The ceramic plates would have been sketchy on stopping all these calibers in the same spot or so close to each other. Uh, that's one of the, the negatives on ceramic is it's just not as multi-hit capable as this steel is. Uh, it's a little bit thicker. Now, of course, the big benefit of it, it's a lot lighter weight. Now, granted, even both of these plates together, uh, they're not lightweight by any means, don't get me wrong, but they're not overly cumbersome that you couldn't put them on and wear them for quite a while. Uh, I want to say these are around seven pounds each. You'll have to double check me on that on the website, but I want to say they're about seven pounds. I put them in the carrier before I came out here and just walked around with them and did, did a few things with them. Very manageable. It distributes the weight very evenly once they're in a carrier like that. So unless you're just incredibly out of shape or, or very compromised somehow, cardio system, something like that, or you've got to just go hundreds and hundreds of miles, these are very manageable inside of a plate carrier. But y'all let me know what y'all think about armor plates in general, the hard armor, soft armor. Do y'all own some hard, heavy plate armor? Do you own some ceramics, some soft armor? Let me know down in the comments what your experience is. If you enjoyed the video as always, make sure you reach down, hit that thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon so you can get notified when I upload these new videos. Check out my affiliate links down below, including some links here to RTS Tactical. If you're interested in checking out some of the stuff they got on there, use that link down below. They've got hard armor, soft armor, uh, ceramic plates. They've got carriers, just a lot of good stuff on their site. So check that link out down below if you're interested in something. I definitely appreciate them sending these to the channel for us to test out today. Appreciate all my range game members who reached out and hit that join button. Like I always tell you, that definitely helps out a lot. Thank you to every single person who supports the channel by watching the videos, hitting that thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, and leave me those comments down below. Let me know again what your experience is with armor, if any at all. The sun's going down pretty fast out here, so I got to get a couple things knocked out before I leave. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for those. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.